Hello there, I am the Lady of Nemesis. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Last time we traveled to the town of Radcliffe where Alistair dropped a truth bomb on us. It turned out that he was actually King Caelan's half-brother and a supposed heir to the throne of Ferelden. He seems to despise the idea, however, and we decide not to press the issue, for now. Also it appears that Radcliffe is under siege from Undead and King Caelan's uncle, Ben Tegan, requested our aid to defend the town from the next attack. After helping prepare the defenses, we are now ready to defend the town. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned, Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Men know that we fight.
dawn arrives, my friends, and all of us remain. We are victorious. And it is these good folk you see beside me that we have to thank for our lives today. Without their heroism, surely we would all have perished. I bow to you, dear lady. The Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Allow me to offer you this, the helm of Sir Ferris the Red, my great uncle and hero of Ferelden. He would approve passing it to one so worthy. Take it then, and use it in good health. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive, and it's finally over. With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. I can't take it back. If you need it, keep it. Grandfather would want it in the hands of a hero. I suppose it's quite valuable, isn't it? Perhaps someone in the city will buy it. Thank you again. We should leave now, I suppose. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. On it. survived I thought we were goners for sure what luck you came when you did Van Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon won't they they'll need an army to fight in the south now I'll go when they call me I guess I'm going to get drunk first though if you'll excuse me I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. The end is upon us! The dead rise, and foul magic spreads across the land! Repent your sins before death! Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness! I... I don't mean to. I, I just need to tell everyone. They need to know. They need to repent before... Before it's too late. I was too late for my wife. She died... So horribly. And she... She was not repented. I need... I need to help everyone. To prepare. Help... me? There is no help for me. I just... miss my wife so much. This is all... so horrible. I... I think I just need to sit down. I need to collect myself.
Phew. Some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Constant fighting. A warrior's life there is blood, ash, and dust. Though I'm not sure who's dirtier. These creatures are darkspawn. Don't thank me. You paid me, fair and square. First thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep. For about a week. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero. Or something. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. The collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry, but we would rather live on our own terms. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. As you wish. Admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. You mean about helping me leave? I... I wouldn't hold you to that. You've already done so much for us. What do you have in mind? That could get me to Denerim. What would you want in return for such a gift? Thank you. I... I can never repay this, but I'll think of a way. I swear. We have been victorious beyond all expectations. Surely the Maker smiled upon us this day. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Move along, friend. Oh, wonderful. I always appreciate correspondence from my upstanding friends in the Collective. On behalf of myself and my men, I thank you. I'll make sure the Collective's generosity is reciprocated. On your way now. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? 
I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigap. Alone. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Assault, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you! I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.